I know my targets by sight well enough. But how will I find them? We have spies and informants in every city. Visit our bureaus and the assassins there will guide you. That fixes Torres and Rogers. But Bartholomew Roberts won't be near any city. It might take months to find him. Or years. But you're a man of talent and quality, Captain Kenway. I believe you will find him. And if you're at a loss, don't be afraid to call on your quartermaster for aid. Quartermaster! What's our present course? Due west, Captain, if it's still Kingston we're sailing for. It is indeed, Miss Bond. Call it out. Weigh anchor and let fall the courses, lads. We're sailing for Jamaica. How does it feel to bark so loud? I've barked louder, and to men twice as rough. Tending bar at the old Avery, you mean? Among other places. And I sailed with Mary and Rackham for a time, remember? Of course. Mary did most of the captaining, Jack did most of the drinking. Did Mary... Did she ever tell you who it was that fathered her child? It was a young fella. Sailed with us on that last voyage. Poor lad was killed fighting beside us. The only man not too drunk to stand up for himself. There was so much about her I didn't know. I called her a friend. But was I one in return? She thought the world of you, Edward. I have no worries about that. Well, that's good to hear. Captain Kenway. You have something for me? The present whereabouts of the Templar Woods Rogers. He is attending a small political function, so do it clean. The word is King George is calling Rogers back to London. Aye, not happy with his progress in Nassau. Still too many pirates roaming about from what I hear. <laughs> You'll need a disguise to fool the powderheads at this party. I suggest the visiting diplomat, Ruggiero Ferraro. He's been on our list for some time. Understood. Will you send this to England for me? Aye. The ship leaves tomorrow. Caroline Scott Kenway, Hawkins Lane, Bristol.
Salve. Forgive the lateness of my arrival. I am Ruggerio Ferraro. Aye, Mr. Ferraro. Not a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, a toast to my brief tenure as Governor of the Bahamas. For under my watch, no less than 300 of our pirates took the King's pardon and swore fealty to the crown. And yet, for all my successes, His Majesty has seen fit to sack me and call me home to England. Brilliant! God bless the fucker! Therefore, hooray! Hooray for the ignoble and ignorant pricks who rule the world with sticks up their asses! Hooray! And how is Mrs. Rogers these days? I haven't the faintest idea, and I don't intend to inquire any further. We separated almost five years ago, and both our lives have been the better for it. Forgive my curiosity, Governor. Perhaps I'll be more candid later, when the remainder of my reason has left me. I say that's a smart-looking outfit, but it can't be comfortable in this heat. See, si. but for a man of a good taste as ourselves, Form must always take precedence over function. Let us continue this at another time. Damn shame about your dismissal, Rogers. You had my confidence. Still do. Well, it's not a done deal by any means. When the king hears my complaints, I'm sure he'll come to a more sensible conclusion. I brought those brutes in Nassau to heal, by God, and this is the thanks I get? Unbelievable. Damn right you did, Rogers. And if it's a character witness you need back home, I'd gladly tender a letter in support. Word going round us is that you're comfortable friends with the Spaniard, Loriano Torres. Is that true? It is, I am proud to say. Torres was a governor too, and like me, had a firm commitment to seeing justice done. You are Mr. Ferraro, I take it. I do adore your frippery. Such elegance and color. Grazie, grazie. I should say I have the same about you. So beautiful. Good day, friends. Carry on. He was a privateer once. How is it you lack so much respect for sailors only trying to make their way in this world? You couldn't possibly understand my motives, cretin! You have spent a whole lifetime dismantling everything that makes our civilization shine. But I do understand. I've seen the observatory, and I know its power. You'd use that device to spy and blackmail and sabotage. Yes. And yet all for a greater purpose. To ensure justice. To snuff out lies and to seek truth. There's no man on earth who needs that power. Yet you suffer the outlaw Roberts to use it. No. I'm taking it back. And if you tell me where he is, I'll stop the man. <laughs> Here at the edge of a blade, I find a friend in you at last. Principe. You mad... Bastard. Our best sources say Principe. It's done. Where now? Grab your kit and pack well. We're sailing for Africa.